Have a lot of you. YouTube, what up? Right now we got what happened in Vampire in Brooklyn, 1995 Primhood Cinema. This is Charlie Murphy, uh, not Charlie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, uh, shit. Yeah, Eddie Murphy film. And, uh, duh, first of all, I want to apologize to y'all, man. Um, the other day, like two days ago, I, I reacted to Prim's fresh, you know, video, whatever the case was, and and when I got to Wondershare to try to edit my video and upload that motherfucker, the screen recording of the you know of Prim's video, it went on there. So I couldn't I, I can't I couldn't upload it because of course it had no sound. So y'all hear me talk, but y'all wouldn't be knowing what I was, you know, why I'm saying what I'm saying because you couldn't hear the video. So it kind of that pissed me off because you know my damn audio box is not working. You know what I'm saying? This audio box right here, it ain't working. So shit, I plugged in my headphones directly to my laptop, so I had to figure out how to do it without the audio box, cause that's my first time really having to do that without the audio box, and I still want to use my headphones. You know, it ain't, it ain't a major, um, it ain't rocket science, but you know, when I be at, when I be at work and shit, and I get out, that's one bad habit that I got to get rid of when I get out of work. I just don't be feeling like doing a lot of extra shit because time be flying so much. And then time creep by so slow when you at that motherfucker. But anyway, man, let's go ahead and get into this shit, man. If you like the video, man, like the video, man. That, that was such a dope-ass video, bro. I was seeing a lot of funny-ass shit, a lot of crazy shit. So if y'all want me to... I mean, it won't be the same. Even if I, re, if I redid the reaction, it won't be the same feeling. Like, in, in my heart of hearts, it still wouldn't be the same. You feel me? So let's go ahead and get into this shit, man. If, uh, hope y'all having a good day. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this shit, man, straight up. It starts off. Okay, so when you see the, uh, obviously this Eddie Murphy, right? So, do you say that Eddie Murphy did this shit first before Martin Lawrence? Because I believe so. You know, it's like Eddie Murphy been in the game longer than uh, Martin, if you ask me. But I could be wrong. But. And I never watched this movie. With some hood movie narration. That's typical. Of course they did that. It is uh, a movie, technically, right? Story by Charles Murphy. Oh, wow. So, this should be funny, right? Charles Murphy. It's funny, right? R.I.P. Charles Marf. The race of the vampire were driven from Egypt. My only chance was to find the one known offspring of our tribe that had been born in a foreign land. Somewhere in this place called Brooklyn. So the story is, Eddie Murphy is like the last vampire in the world. He needs a vampire wife to save the population, and there's actually one more living descendant from his tribe. It's a half-vampire lady living in Brooklyn, New York, and now he's got to find her. How the hell you even know where she live at? Your ass from Transylvania or something. How do you know there's a vampire lady in Brooklyn? We reach New York City and this giant ship Vampires have unknown abilities. It almost hits these two workers. They're played by John Witherspoon and Kadeem Hardison. They some all-stars. They the only funny parts of the movie. It's really bad. John Witherspoon <laughs> boards the ship to see what's going on when he realizes the whole crew is... He always making that old ass face. ...by Wolf Eddie Murphy. That's right. Wolf Eddie Murphy. Can vampires do that? I thought they just turned into bats or whatever. Like already, they starting with that bullshit. His powers don't make sense already. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh my! You was snoring. Every woman, everybody snoring. Not while they fucking. Damn. That's crazy. Hey, don't worry about it, Julius. Nobody's 
Oh, my nigga a vigilante too? I'm Maximilian. Oh, Vampire what the hell they doing back, back there? His random alleyway to save his random person he doesn't know? That's fine. This wig though is not oh fine. My God. This whole costume is awful. It's not scary. You like Nah, it ain't that bad. Hearts. They call this nigga Halloween. Yeah, yeah, ain't that <laughs> Oh my Bro, I used to hate this movie. Like, you know, as a kid when I watch the cable and I'm watching BET or whatever, this music this movie used to come on. I used to just hate this shit. I mean, hate it, bro. I still do. I ain't never watched as 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 my grown up self. I will not watch that movie. <laughs> I, I I just can't see my boy like that. I just can't. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's different if it's a goddamn mama's house, uh, big mama's house or something like that, or Norbit or something, but. I mean, really, I ain't no difference if you. I don't know. But I just, I can't watch that shit. I don't give a fuck. Saves Kadeem Hardison in order to turn him into a ghoul zombie person. Now he's like a sidekick or something. Vampire Adventures in the hood. Again, shout out to Kadeem Hardison for at least trying to inject some comedy into this shit. It's not working though. I won't tell nobody I saw you because I ain't really see you. No, I'm blind. I got stick to this man. I can't see. I'm blind. Where you at? What you doing? Welcome to the party, Judas. Wait, you gonna be sucking my neck? You're my ghoul. <laughs> what the fuck? So he's really gonna do this generic ass Dracula voice the whole time? This shit feels racist against vampires or somebody. You don't got the accent right. This shit is so inconsistent. And I wouldn't be so hard on this movie if they weren't playing it so straight. Like, Eddie Murphy barely has any jokes in this. At least in his vampire form. We'll get to that. But yeah, I can't believe it. They playing this shit like a straight up horror. That's crazy to me. Eddie Murphy was the biggest comedian of all time. Give this nigga some jokes. Why is he not being funny? Y'all trying to make him actually scary? Eddie Murphy? Come on, bro. You gotta try harder than this. This stupid ass old lady outfit. It's not scary. You look like Hobson, grandmother. So Eddie Murphy takes his new side. I remember that nigga. The shipwreck because he's gotta retrieve his coffin. He gets to show off some more of his ridiculous vampire powers too. They're so random, bro. He's got magical dog exploding abilities. That is actually pretty funny. Still a lobster fight. <laughs> Jump. Hell <laughs> 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 yeah, nah nah cause uh, I'ma see it eventually probably in his uh in bro video but I saw on Twitter I think a cat exploded or something we made a cat explode that shit was funny as hell in the movie and so was Angela Bassett <laughs> they play two cops investigating Black All Stars Angela Bassett ends up finding the coffin and now she's getting haunted by this fake ass Cat Williams it's you. It turns out that Angela Bassett is the vampire lady he was looking for. Remember, he came to New York to, to find a girlfriend or a wife? Hey, bro, that's the plot of Coming to America. It's the same thing, basically. We should just watch that movie instead. Why am I watching this shit? Did he? Have, no, I don't think he did coming to America, but that coming to America is so fucking classic, bro. I watched that shit, uh, when was that? I think I watched that shit like three weeks ago, man. That shit is timeless. Eddie Murphy continues on Angela Bassett, trying to win her over with his stupid ass nonsense powers. I'm about to watch this shit tonight. Hey, how I feel about that movie. He's trying, he trying to mesmerize the bit. And do you know who this killer is? He's right behind you. What's happening, nigga? Misunderstood. I'm Max. Oh. Rita, 
You know who this is? This ain't Nick Ashford, baby. This is Max and Million. All right? This motherfucker got a pussy surplus, don't you, baby? Solid as a rock. I'll right? see you again, you know. In your dreams, Max. Angela Bassett is looking for clues on how to stop the vampires or something. Eddie Murphy's been following her around the whole time, but she goes into a church and he can't go in after her. Now he's got to think of a plan. Preacher Polly. Yes, I'm Preacher Polly, and if you've been misbehaving, Preacher Polly's here for safety. Fucking playing with me, bitch. I'm not fucking playing with you, nigga. Fucking playing with me, <laughs> Eva is necessary, thereby if it's necessary, Eva yeah. must be good. Oh hell no. Is this a nutty professor prototype suit? This shit looks horrible. <laughs> it looks like styrofoam. And this part not even funny really. You put all this shit on your face for nothing. I hate this movie. Eddie Murphy as a vampire in the hood should be hilarious. Why is this not funny, bro? I don't understand. This is not even the worst of the makeup. You haven't even seen the worst of the makeup yet. Turning into my best friend. Keep those fucking hands up, Sam Coleman. What are you, a fucking magician? What, you got a thumb in there? You give me your fucking wallet. Come on! I love this place. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, you fucking holy shit! White face. White face Eddie Murphy. White face Eddie Murphy. I just want to watch a fun Halloween comedy. This is not it. Ah, right, here we go. Here we go. This is wild, man. I don't get it. This nigga look like. Dude, this one the cap in the. This one the cap in the pull up. These comedies. There's a lot of racist ass humor, and not the good racist humor, where it's like funny and thoughtful. This shit is like Italians eating spaghetti type shit. Oh, you fucking holy shit! Nice too, huh? Hey, we need some pasta here, Fusil. You. All right, I take back what I said about adding more comedy. If this is the comedy, y'all can keep it. This Italian costume is low key scarier than the fucking vampire costume. I'm not even joking, y'all. I guess these characters are just here so Eddie Murphy can do his stick and he can keep the vampire character serious. That's really stupid though. He's not scary. He's still doing his classic Eddie Murphy facial expressions and shit. What is this performance? It's not funny. It's not scary. So what is it? It's not anything. They focus a lot on the romance too, which makes it so much worse. They going on sexy vampire dates or whatever. Who would go on a date with this nigga? Something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. There's no place you can go. No place the subway doesn't work. Ah, uh, shit. So Angela uh, is a full on vampire and she's all here wilding now, eating white people and shit. Meanwhile, Jason Lyric is still in the movie, surprisingly. He's being a hater, trying to ruin their vampire relationship. He links up with the <laughs> vampire hunters to figure out how to stop everything. Major cock blocking, bro. That's not cool. <laughs> it ain't never cool. I was in love with her years ago. Much as she is human, she's now also a predator. Damn, why that nigga look like this? Bro, why don't you just explode this nigga like you did the dog? You can still do that, right? Does that only work on dogs or what? You got a bunch of goofy ass powers. Jason Lyric should not be whooping your ass right now. At this really point shit. Story, I agree with that. rooting for Jason Lyric. Like, who cares if he wins? He's such a boring character. I don't even care what happens to him. Angela Bassett fights her vampire urges and she and Jason Lyric end up killing Eddie Murphy for good. Kadeem Hardison finds one of his vampire rings left over and that turns him into a vampire now. All right. If it's that easy to turn into a vampire, why is their population so low? The whole point of coming here was to make more vampires, essentially. You could have been doing that. Max's shit. 
That's right. There's a new vampire in Brooklyn. And his name is Julius Jones. Go in the house! Yeah, this is not it, bro. Shout out to Charles <laughs> Murphy. But yeah, this is not it. I appreciate some of the effects. The ghoul makeup was pretty cool, I guess. Not this ghoul. That's not the ghoul, bro. From what I hear, behind the scenes in this movie was a nightmare, and it kind of shows. Wes Craven, the director, wanted to make it into more of a comedy. Eddie Murphy is actually the one who suggested they focus on the horror, or so the rumors go. That was an awful decision to focus on the horror, whoever decision that was. They didn't do anything different really. There's not even that many kills. It's just a cliche ass vampire movie. And the only thing they had going for it was Eddie Murphy's jokes. And there were none. Also, apparently they had a stunt woman die on the set while filming this. She was supposed what? to jump off the roof onto an airbag, but she missed the airbag for whatever reason, and that was it. I don't want to dive too much into that. Hold on. You gotta be Kevin. I'm just like stunt woman dies on set for a vampire in Brooklyn. I don't know how to spell Brooklyn. I think that's how you spell it. What? Damn. Mm -mm -mm. But if y'all like the video, man, like the video, comment, subscribe. If you got any specific videos, man, from Prim that you want me to react to, man, let me know in the comments below. But make sure y'all like the video, man. It's very important. So you get my video out there on the uh, YouTube algorithm. And it does me, you know, good diligence, you know what I mean? So I'm going to fuck with y'all on the next one. Y'all be smooth out there.